exercise six. In this exercise, we take a look at using configurations and more detailed setting with uh, the mold tools inside SOLIDWORKS. And actually, in this case, I'm really not going to use anything other than the cavity feature out of the mold tools. And as you can see here, we have multiple parts, or what appear to be multiple parts inside of an assembly. We even have a, a side action occurring right there for a core. And so we're going to make this little book light shade here. Let's take a look at how that's done. Okay, we're going to start with the part file, as you can see here. It's just a matter of going to File, Make Assembly from Part. Hit the green check mark to drop the part in. Now we're going to go in and insert a new part and drop it in at the top plane, as you see here. Actually, we could drop it in. Um, honestly, I'm just going to drop it in at the front plane, and then everything's going to match up easier. And I'm going to turn off, uh, I'm going to hit Exit Sketch, and also I'm going to make sure I save this as a different name. I'm going to file Save As, and I'm going to call this here Mold E6. All right. I can turn off that. Oh, actually, I do want to continue to edit that part. And I'll save this assembly. As D6. All right. Now, at this point, we just go ahead and um, we're going to select the top plane here. The top plane just so happens to be at the base, which is fine. That's a nice parting line. So we're going to select that starter sketch. I'm going to go to the top view orientation and draw in my mold. So the material that's going to go around that part. I'm going to go to features and extrude boss. And you'll notice that I am not using the other tools. Here for the mold tools, I'm just going to use the basic modeling techniques here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the green check. And now from here, I could go to Insert Molds Cavity. And the design component I'll select from the feature tree, which will be the C3 shade. And hit the green check mark. You could hide the shade. And now we can start working on this part. Now for this particular part, <coughs> we want to go ahead and we'll first make the cavity side. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to change this to transparency so it's easier for you to see. And this is actually just a good idea when you work on it. It makes it a lot easier. Just click on the beach ball, click on that little color swatch. And under advanced and illumination, you just grab the transparency and drag it over a bit. Just give it a light transparency. It makes it a little easier to work out. Okay, we're going to select the side face and start a sketch. And now, if you could right click over this surface here, and you'll find select other, select that face right there. And I'm going to hit convert entities. It projects it onto my the outside of my mold. I go to features, extruded cut, and I'm just going to have it extruded up to this edge here. When I hit the green check mark, it's going to ask me what do I want to keep. I want to go to select the bodies. I can select body two, which would be the core, or body one, which is the cav cavity. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just select the cavity. Hit OK. And one of the things I wanted to do before I did that was to actually create um, a configuration for it, but that's OK. We can create it now. I'm going to open up this part by itself just by clicking on Open Part. And here we can see the part by itself. There's the cavity. So I'm going to go over here to the Configuration Manager and right click and add a configuration. And I'm going to call one part the Core. Call Core Bottom, just so we know it's the bottom of the side. And then right click, Add Configuration. We'll have core side. 
and then this default we can rename that to cavity. All right. So currently we're in the cavity. On the core bottom, let's double click on that to activate that configuration. Now in that configuration, what we're going to do is suppress this feature. When we suppress it, it brings back our core. Now what we can do is we can select this face again, start a sketch, and do the same thing where we get over the surface here, right click, select other, and when you get that little face, hit convert entities. And again, we go to features, extrude cut, select up to that edge. And this time, under selected bodies, we select our core that we want to keep. And now you can select this bottom face, start a sketch, bring back the outer edges of that just by selecting the little plus symbol next to boss extrude one and then select sketch two and hit the convert entities and it should automatically convert those edges so now you have an exact duplicate size for the base of the core which you could run your water lines through. Now this is very small I'm just again just showing you as an example. Okay, also this should not be in here. This is going to be the insert that's going to come in from the side. So you can select this face, start a sketch, and we'll do a convert entities on that. Select the outer edges and go to features, extrude cut, flip the direction, and just do a through all. Okay, and that's our core bottom part. Now we're going to go and we're going to go back to the uh, cavity side and then the core side. Actually, we have the core side there. Okay, the core side should look just like our cavity side. Now, with this, again, we repeat the same steps. In the feature tree, we actually want to suppress this cut extrude. And the other features should automatically be suppressed because those were not created in this configuration, thus they are not in it. Don't ever delete these unless you really want to delete them. You want to just suppress them because if you delete them, it wipes them out, out of the other configurations, so just be aware of that. Okay, and again, we use the same techniques, select the side face, start a sketch, right-click over the surface, select face, Get that one, hit convert entities. Now this one you do features extrude cut through all, but you flip side to cut, so it cuts everything on the outside. Hit the green check mark, it's gonna ask you what do you want to keep. And in this case, uh, you'll want to keep let's see here, uh, avoid those the text. We don't want the lettering. We don't want that one. We want to keep body one, and that's it. Hit OK. And now you can see we want to wipe out this section. So using that same technique again, we select this face, start a sketch, that's where it's going to be parted out from. Hit convert on these while it's still selected. And go to features, extrude cut. And it really doesn't matter how far you cut it because when you hit the green check mark, it's going to ask you which bodies you want to keep. So select the bodies. And this time make sure it's this back body here. In this case, it's body two. Hit OK. Now let's, um, I'm going to turn off the beach ball feature there. So remove color so it's back to being solid. And now we should be able to go back to our assembly. And here's our assembly. And we can see we're working on E6 mold. Just turn off at a component and minimize that. And we're going to drag in some additional copies here. So I'm going to actually going to go to view and turn on my origin so I can drop them in all at the origin and they should snap in to each other. Now holding control on the keyboard you grab the mold E6 and just keep dropping them into the origin holding control. Do it again, hold control, drag it. It looks like nothing's happening I know but just drop those in there. Now you'll see they're all listed there. Now E6-2, just right click and you'll find here the component properties, and you can select which one you want. So in this case, we want the core bottom. 
right? And now E6.3, right click, go to the component properties and select the core side. Let's bring back the lampshade, show component, and we should be able to explode this now. Let's go to explode view, select this, drag it out, select the core, drag that out, select the side core, drag that down, and there we have our, all of our different parts made using the same configuration. Now beware, I've seen companies go through this and they get a little too carried away and they add, have too many parts and configurations and it gets confusing and things get suppressed or deleted. Um, maybe for a couple parts it's not bad, just be aware it can get very deep and complex very quickly. Now if you could keep track of it, that's fine, but just uh, be aware that I've seen companies use this method and they have some issues sometimes from from time to time so it's not for everyone not for every situation and that concludes exercise six